the gospel at mass today has a big old spoiler, a big spoiler. It names the 12 apostles, those who are called up the mountain to be with Jesus, those whom he names to be his apostles, his followers. And then he comes down the mountain with them, naming them. And as they're named, we get to Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Just so you know how the story ends, Judas becomes a traitor. But see, this is an important thing. Remember back on Sunday, we read from, from the uh, letter to Philemon. We talked about Onesimus, the slave, who receives his true identity. He becomes truly himself. He becomes truly useful in Christ. Well, our name is something that will be remembered. And how do we remember Judas? Not by his relationship with Jesus, but by his betrayal of his relationship with Jesus. Now, if we're really honest, we can all see that Jesus has called us. Our names, too, have been written. We've been called, we've been invited to follow him and to go with him in all things. Far more often than I would like to admit, I realize that I'm Judas, the traitor. I'm the one who's not faithful to Jesus. I'm the one who hasn't done what I'm supposed to do. So what's my name? You see, we want our names to be held in honor, but not for themselves, but rather because they're named in relationship to Christ. So may we always be faithful to the call that he's given to us, because he's called you and he's called me, and he's invited us to go with him in everything. We're being invited then to follow Jesus, to do everything with him, that our names might be remembered, not for ourselves or our own deeds, but for what Christ has done for us. I hope this video is helpful for you today. If you like it, like it there. Follow us. I actually don't know how these invitations work, but like, follow, subscribe, whatever I'm supposed to say. Did I do it? Yeah? Okay, good enough.